Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and I'm here in Blackpool. It's a Friday night and I'm currently on Lytham Road. This is the road that runs north and south. If you go that way, towards the south, it takes you all the way to the airport and Squiresgate Lane. It's quite a different road down there as well. This part that I'm on now is a little bit closer to the promenade and uh, it's in better days i've done a few videos on it but what i'm going to do in this video is going to make my way to the promenade and we'll see what it's like on a friday night show we'll see how busy it is should be quite busy the illuminations are on no fireworks though the fireworks are finished now all that is over so let's go and check it out shall we So we're looking south down Lytham Road here. I'm just starting where they've got these two churches on either side of the road. You see the moon up there, can you see the moon? Wow, the moon, it's like a half moon. Looks pretty spectacular. Anyway, I'll turn it round. And like I say, this part of Lytham Road has seen better. What's this here? Chakra Oriental Massage. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to make my way to the promenade, I'm going to head up here. We'll come out at the Manchester. That place there is Go Electrical. It's a pretty good electrical store, that actually. I think they mainly sell the trade, I think. But uh, I remember when that building used to be Tasker's. Who remembers Tasker's supermarket back in the olden days? That's what that used to be. There's another building next door. Look at that there, that's quite old looking. It's got quite a grand, uh, a grand uh, doorway there, hasn't it? Yeah? What do you reckon? So, I'm going to make my way past this flogging used cars here. Lots of used cars. Check it out. I could get a big whiff of cannabis then, you know. <laughs> Uh, there's a car there, it's a Ford Fiesta, a 60 plate, and it's got the, uh, the tailgate open. Look at that there. Well, let's go and check it out, shall we? Look at that. The tailgate's open on that car. Oh, interesting. Anyway, I'll carry on. So it's like a, a garage. I think it's connected with this place, is it? Over the road, cash for cars, I'm not too sure. We buy MOT failures, accident damage, non-runners wanted. I just want to show you this way. Look, oh, look at the tower. Can you see the tower all lit up in red? It's like a beacon of hope at the end of the road. Oh, this is St Chad's Road, by the way. Now, that takes you down to, of course, where St Chad's Hotel was. If you go straight down there. I've just heard a plane. There's a plane up there. That sounds like a... That sounds like a military plane, that. Let's go check on the thing. Sounds like a C-130. Just checking now. It's an A400. That plane that just went flying across then was an A400 Atlas. Wow. We're just coming up to Bloomfield Road. I'll tell you what, it's pretty busy. A bit of work in progress going on here. This building here, what's that street called? This, this street is called Amber Banks Grove. It says up there, look. Let's have a little look down here, shall we? Look at this doorway here, look. Look at that there, it's quite fancy, isn't it? Nice little carvings on the thing there. So it seems pretty quiet down here. Got some terraced houses here, look. What's going on there? There's another little street down there, look. Look at that. I thought that was a back alley. Oh. 
It's amazing what you find when you look around Blackpool, isn't it? But it's pretty quiet down here. Uh, you can see the travel lodge down there. We're just coming up to Bloomfield Road. So if I go through this way now, we'll get to Bloomfield Road. That's where the football ground is. Just over the road is a Polish superstore. So just down here is the football ground down there. This is Bloomfield Road. Just on the right hand side that's all lit up, that's the Arm, the Armfield Club. I think it used to be called the number one, but that's now the Armfield Club, the Blackpool's club there. This, this street is called John Street. We've got some, a nice little terrace of houses there. Another fancy doorway, look at that there. Quite fancy that, isn't it? Yeah, so this is John Street. It's pretty quiet round here. I'm filming this at about half past eight on a Friday night. More terraces here. This street here is called, I think it's called Moon Street. And if you carry on down there, you just get straight to the football ground. We've got more terraced houses, as you can see. I'm gonna head back up this way onto uh, Lytham Road again. We'll head towards the promenade and we'll have a little look and see what it's like. <coughs> I don't want to walk too far because my foot is still a bit, still a bit dodge. It's not too bad at the moment though. The bright lights of the convenience store, straight ahead. Come, come into our shop. It's beckoning you from miles around. And that's just across the road from the bridge pub. There you go. I've never been in the bridge, but I know I have. I definitely have some fans that go in there because I've had a few been talking to people when, I, when I've gone past. Another convenience store there. Look, Lytham Local. Just over here on the corner, we've got a seniors. Well, that used to be another chippy, but seniors took it over. There you go. I think it was called Sea Fresh. What have we got here? An empty shop there. And then we've got this one here, George Lloyd, incorporating Red Ferns of Sheffield. I wonder what that was. The phone number's only got five numbers as well. What did that used to be? And that's next to Chester's. Great tasting chicken. But we'll carry on. Blackpool Mobility Scooters Limited. Hey, that's an idea, isn't it? I could get myself a mobility scooter, couldn't I? With my bad foot, what do you reckon? That'd be something, wouldn't it? Me on a mobility scooter, scootling around Blackpool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. I could do it though, couldn't I? I probably could, I probably could claim a mobility scooter with my condition. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments if it's a good idea. Got another takeaway over there, that's called the Grill Station. Big bright lights outside the front. I'll tell you what, last night we had the Aurora Borealis shining over the UK and you could definitely see it over Blackpool, but I doubt you would have been able to see it from somewhere like this with all these lights and the promenade as well that you'd have been hard pushed to see it I think what have we got here an off license well yeah there is um, yeah straight down there on the right hand side there's a big shop on the right hand side you can't miss it it's all lit up yeah this part here is a little bit unloved, as you can see. It used to be very popular in the olden days, markets. 
nowadays, well, it's barely alive. They still do hold markets down here, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's not very busy these days. But that's Lonsdale Road over there. That takes you down to a car park and also to the old Blackpool coach station, which I don't think they even use it anymore. It's all been shut up. It used to be a really popular road, that. It used to get coaches going down there and everything in the olden days. But not so much anymore, but it still takes you down to the car park. It's quite a big car park. And it also takes you towards the football ground as well. So, carry on. So we're now just at this section now. This road that goes across here is called Nelson Road. Can you see the moon there? I'm looking down Nelson Road. It's a bit of a funny kind of road, really. We're at a bit of a split here. We've got a... Uh, is that a hotel on the corner? It's got a sign up there saying Corner View, Ensuite Rooms. I've got a funny feeling that this uh, hotel might not be open on me. Don't quote me on that. But it doesn't really look like it's uh, oh, I don't know I'm too sure I don't know anyway if anyone knows let me know it's the Corner View Hotel a thing as we now go past some more markets here I have seen these in use lately yeah yeah these ones here yeah it's got the awnings and the post there original post look check it out So I'm making my way. We're almost at the uh, we're almost at the promenade. There's a road just over there. That's called Kirby Road, and that's a dead end. It, it goes right up to the Blackpool Transport uh, tram tram building, so you can't get out of that road there. I'll tell you what, it's pretty busy here at the moment. Look at all this traffic here. Um, there was a hotel down there that had a bit of a grim history. I can't remember the name of it, but a girl got murdered there at a hotel down there. If I find the news story, I'll put a link for it in the description. But yeah, it was pretty grim, I'm telling you. Happened a fair few years ago. I'm going to get a cracking view of the tower now. This is where the road can... It, we've got Tilsley Road splitting off to the right there. Look at that view of the tower. Check it out. That's a nice view of the tower, isn't it? Got some more places here. Got a shell shop there. Cogs Bar. Monsters Inc. Some more fancy doorways. Just got another massive whiff of cannabis then as I walk past all those people. Not, not saying that they're smoking cannabis, but I definitely got a whiff from somewhere, could have come from somewhere else I don't know, but anyway let's turn you back round John Mack Tires that used to be the old lifeboat house who remembers that when it was an old lifeboat house I remember it when it was an arcade yeah it used to be a good arcade that as well Maggie Mays Hotel and Family Bar. That's another place that, well, I don't know, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a lot going on in here at the moment. Bloody hell, I've just seen an e-bike, some scallywag on an e-bike doing about 50 down there then. Wow. Just over the road we've got another convenience store. And next to that is that hotel that they had to knock down. I can't remember the name of it, but they had to knock it down because uh, it, it, I don't know, did it set on fire? I think it was one of those places where they had a grow house in there, you know? One of the many places in Blackpool. So there's a massive big hole there that goes right through to Tilsley Road. If anyone remembers the name, let me know. 
what have we got here? The back of... Oh, my goodness, look at that there. Wowzers. That looks a bit of a mess. Look at that. Got all that rubbish there and the back of that apartment block. Wow, that doesn't look very pretty, does it? Anyway, I can see the bright lights of Blackpool Promenade now. I can see the big wheel. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got a tram coming out. Oh, look at this, folks. We have got a tram coming out. It's, uh, it's a balloon tram. And it's number 723. Check it out. Must be going to do some... Uh, a trip. Didn't get very far but oh my god the the lights didn't stay on on the uh, green for very long then did they but there you go that's bloom 723 i don't think i've seen that one for ages but, uh, just got a bit of a wave off the driver there and the, the guard on there shout out to them we're just going past the crispy cod check it out we'll carry on Just going past Rigby Road. How are you doing? Oh, Cheers. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now then, we are now on. Oh, here comes the tram. Whoa. Are they going to get across? They've got to get across the gap there. There you go. We're now on Blackpool Promenade. There you go. Oh, look at that there. Get a bit of lightning off the off the uh, the electric thing, the pantograph. Well, this is interesting because we've got cars at the traffic lights, and we've got oh the Lando's going to go in front of the coach. There you go. Ah, there you go. Well, it's looking pretty busy here now on Blackpool Promenade. Here's just a little look back to where I came from, down there, Lytham Road. We've got the Manchester there. And uh, we'll just have a little look along here. I'm not going to go too far because I have got a bit of a, a little bit of a bad foot. So we'll just go past some of these hotels. There's the Royal Sea Bank pretty busy actually quite a lot of people in the hotels a nice night as well tonight cold a lot colder than it has been uh, oops I wonder what's happened to that ball out there interesting <laughs> just across the road from the pipes of poo of course Manchester Square United Utilities I like these illuminations. I like those ones. This is the Craggy Dom, or the Craig Y Dom. Somebody said that this looks like one big massive Chinese takeaway. <laughs> does done it with the, the red writing on the, the yellow background. It does look a bit like a massive Chinese takeaway, doesn't it? But we're now on Blackpool Promenade, as you can see. And uh, yeah. It's, uh, there's quite a few people around and, and the traffic is what you would expect during the illuminations. It's pretty busy. It's queuing. It's queuing here on both sides. We're just coming up to Mark Kelly's. Mark Ellis used to be the Foxhall. It used to be the site of Blackpool's oldest substantial building, dwelling, Fox Hall. And now it's Mark Ellis. There you go. Oh look, Prime is open. 
this guy over here that sells burgers for a pound, he doesn't like, I don't think, I think he's a bit camera shy, so we'll just head past. I won't put my camera in, but this is the other one pound burger. There you go, look at that there, look. We'll carry on. Looking a bit more busy now, as we get further closer to the central pier, there tends to be a lot more people. It does get pretty busy as we get up here. Glassware shop there. AJ's Double Burgers. Famous Double Burgers. Gaiety's Karaoke Bar. Sticky Chocolate Limited. They're good. Donut Star. All the stuff that's bad for you. Pat 10p bingo, come on. Yellow wall of breeze, those 13e's, 33. Red made in heaven, it's number seven. Cut price rock. White 74. Daddy Booth, official merchandise. We've got it. Yeah, it's all here. We're now on the main drag in Blackpool. You can get it all. Around here. Fish and chips is close. Restaurant there. Silcox Fun Palace. There you go, there's the prices for you. Candy floss, a pound. One pound candy floss. There you go, Silcox Fun Palace. That looks quite fancy, doesn't it? Well, there you go. We started off in a bit of a quiet neighbourhood, a part of Lytham Road. And we've ended up here on Blackpool Promenade with the crowds on a Friday night. And look at it now, just across from the central pier. And it's looking pretty lively now. There you go. And I think these illuminations here do look pretty good, actually. I think they spend all the money on these illuminations. They don't spend any money on the other ones. What's this place here? So many places to get something to eat. Donuts. More donuts. Golden Mile gifts. Seem to be doing pretty well. Ocean basket fishing ships. Looks quite fancy in there, doesn't it? Bubba's food. Candyland, my goodness. It's absolutely banging on the central pier. Lots of people having fun on the rides. Just walk on and pay as you go. Not like at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is now closed and it's been closed since five o'clock. But the the central pier is still going and I think they'll still be going until what? Midnight? I don't know, let me know, when do they shut? Okay, so I'm now outside the central pier and uh, that was a little look at Blackpool on a Friday night, mid-October. Started in a bit of a quiet area there, but uh, it's looking a bit different now, doesn't it? Got a tram coming now, better watch my back. <laughs> Just over there we've got Odyssey. That's the thing that's all lit up over there. And yeah, it's pretty lively here. Look at this now, look. Got loads and loads of lamps. Everyone's doing, seems to be doing pretty well. All the outlets, takeaways and the shop. I can see blue lights flashing down there. Is it kicking off in Blackpool on a Friday night? I can hear. Does anyone remember the YouTuber Beyond the Edge? I can hear him in here. <laughs> He's still alive, folks. He's still alive. Have we got any Beyond the Edge followers? He's still going. But that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.